Um, yesterday, a U.S. airman died after he set himself on fire yeah. outside an Israeli, or outside the Israel embassy. Was the president aware of his death? Does he have any sort of response to it? Yes, uh, the president is aware, uh, and uh, we can. I can say that it is obviously is a it's a uh, horrible tragedy, and our thoughts are with the family uh, of the service member. Uh, at, during this, I can, we can't even imagine this hor horrible, difficult time. Uh, the Department of Defense and the Metropolitan Police are looking into this, so we're not going to get ahead of that. So I would I'll certainly refer you to them. Uh, but it is, uh, it is a horrific tragedy, uh, what, what occurred uh, the other day. Is there anything new that you can share about the President's visit to the border on Thursday? Does he have any plans to announce any executive actions? So I don't have anything to, I'm not going to get ahead of the president, don't have anything to, to uh, announce at this time. We've, sp we've spoken to executive actions. I've spoken to that many times. Uh, we think the bottom line is the way to have dealt with this uh, border, the challenge that we see at the border, what we see with this immigration, a broken immigration system that has been broken for decades, is if we, if Republicans have moved forward uh, with, um, uh, with the bipartisan deal that came out of the Senate. But instead of doing that, Donald Trump, they listened to Donald Trump, the former president, and they made it about politics. They did not make it about an issue that majority of Americans care about. They made it about politics and Donald Trump, and that is unfortunate. What I will say is just, and I said this yesterday in the gaggle, I'll say it again. As you all know, he's going to travel to Brownsville, Texas. He's going to meet with U.S. Border Patrol agents, law enforcement, and local leaders, and he's going to discuss the urgent need to pass the bipartisan, uh, bipartisan proposal that came out of the Senate. Uh, and we believe that if this proposal, this legislation were to become law, it would be, yes, the toughest, but also the fairest. Uh, and let's not forget, it was, uh, it was supported by the Border Patrol Union, uh, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, uh, and, uh, you know, you don't see that type of support for a bipartisan piece of legislation nowadays. And so he's going to reiterate to congressional Republicans to stop playing politics, to focus on the American people, to get this done. If they are serious, if they are serious about giving the U.S. Border Patrol agents what they need, if they are serious about fixing the immigration system, they would get politics, uh, push politics to the side, and do do the work on behalf of the American people. Okay.